Okay, simplifying fractions. These can these fractions can be simplified. Right. Think of a number that goes the biggest number that goes to sixteen and twenty, or or in other words, which times table has got sixteen and twenty in it? Some of you are going to say uh, two times table. Sixteen is in the two times table. Twenty is in the two times table. But can you think of anything bigger? Well, it's the four times table. Check. 16 is in the four times table. Yes. Is 20 in the four times table? Correct. So you can simplify it now. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5. That's simplified. But had you done it this way instead, let's say you had 16 and 20 and you said, oh, 16 is in the two times table, 20 is in the two times table, then you could have done 16 divided by 2 to give you the 8 and 20 divided by 2 to give you the 10 but there is a number other than 1 that goes into 8 and 10 so can you think of a number uh, which is, an, uh, think of a number that goes into 8 and think of a number that goes into 10 so which times table has got the 8 in it and the 10 in it it's the 2 times table 8 divided by 2 is 4 10 divided by 2 is 5. Look, same answer, but this was much quicker. Right, can you think of a times table that's got 12 in it and the 15 in it? Right, the biggest times table, 3. So 12 divided by 3 is 4, 15 divided by 3 is 5. Another one. Can you think of a times table that's got 18 and 24 in it? Some of you thinking, well, two times table. Some of you might be saying three times table. Or even six times table. That's the biggest number you can think of. Six times table. So 18 divided by six is three. 24 divided by six is four. But some people would have taken a bit longer to get there, to get there. Some people would have said, oh, you've got 18, which is in the two times table. 24 is in the two times table. So you could do 18 divided by 2 is 9, 24 divided by 2 is 12. But there is something that goes into 9 and 12. So which times table has got the 9 and 12 in it? It's a 3 times table. So 9 divided by 3 is 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So the same answer, but it's taken a bit longer. But also notice, look, see the 2 and 3. 2 times 3 is 6 that what we have here similarly over here that was the quickest way by dividing by 4 and this took longer but also notice 2 times 2 happens to be 4 All right so that covers simplifying fractions